What's up guys? Welcome to a Star Citizen video. This one we're going to go over kind of just looking around at the uh, Aegis Redeemer. This is the subscriber ship for March. I've never actually flown it or seen it or walked through it. So I figured why not make a video for you guys who are interested in the Redeemer. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and summon this to pad and then we'll go uh, kind of walk through it and then uh, kind of take it for a spin. All right, here we go. Yeah, actually it's a little bit smaller than the Connie. Looks pretty good. We'll kind of do a little walk around so you guys can see it. That's the default skin. I'm not sure if you can get any skins in the store for it, but a blackout skin would look pretty cool. It looked like uh, laser repeaters, maybe. And then maybe laser cannons. We'll have to... We'll pull up the uh, Urkel page for it. So we can kind of look at the weaponry. Alright, so access points. We've got a ramp access. Right here. Go up to the back. Look, we've got a door, which is automatic. We're going to go ahead and uh, turn our flashlight on. we got a cargo area, possibly a shower toilet combo. We've got bunks. I'm not sure if these actually double as escape pods. we got wardrobe there. So this is like a common area. And then a ladder that goes up to the second deck. Weapon rack, which looks like passenger seats. That's uh, turret access and the bridge. So I'm gonna go and get in here and power it up just so we have internal lights. So we can uh, see things a little bit better. I like the cockpit. Go get it powered up. This allows us to get our shields kind of charged up. We'll go continue looking around the ship. Looks like these are remote turret, maybe? Yeah, so two rear remote turrets there. Turn that flashlight off. This looks like it's just utility access or whenever it gets implemented. So, you know, power supply and quantum drive access. Oh, there it is. You have to use a little pad at the side. A little slow at coming up on that. Uh, switch fire mode, gyro mode. There it is, power on. Uh, it looks like this turret actually drops down, so you might not want to be in it when you're uh, docked. It looks like it's raising the uh, landing gear up. Looks pretty good. Go and jump in it. We'll take it for a spin. Looks like it's got eh, decent enough shields. So we're going to take off here. That looks pretty cool. See the thrusters moving. Thank you. Please visit again. All right, we're going to go and load up a. Uh, warp point just so we can kind of see how fast it is got decent fuel handling's okay I think you'd probably definitely want to upgrade the quantum drive we'll look at the uh, stat sheet once we get kind of done kind of filling around go out here for a little bit. I'm going to see how long it takes us to actually clear the 2.9 to our corp. Wait for the quantum drive to get full speed so we can kind of get a good idea. It's actually stock. It's pretty fast, honestly. As those relays repeaters and it looks like ballistic cannon, possibly. I 
Actually, I think an interesting thing to do would be try to land on our corp and see how it does in Atmo. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to warp in, and then I'm going to find the spaceport, and then I'm basically just going to full throttle right for it, and I want to see how it handles as far as like slowing down, um, adjusting, and then landing at an Area 18. even out a little bit the fog always makes it difficult to spot the uh, there it is to spot the spaceport so we're gonna throw our throttle limiter all the way up and then we're essentially just gonna boost up once we're at full speed we're not gonna use our afterburner anymore because we're gonna try to use and save our afterburner to throttle back depending on how fast we come in at Looks like it's pretty responsive, actually, for atmosphere here. The cockpit is a little shaky, though, with um, when you're accelerating and braking, it just kind of jitters a little bit, which is it. It bothers me. It might not bother most people. I don't really use VTOL for landing here. I kind of use a uh, nose technique, depending on the length and the uh, width of the ship I'm flying. This one won't be as bad. This is a lot shorter than the Connie. So I might be able to just, you know, kind of speed through it for the most part. All right, throw down landing gear. So I usually take my nose right to the edge, kind of like this. And then I just kind of balance out, which this is a lot shorter than the uh, Connie, so it's not so bad. All right, so here's the uh, fit page for it. As you can see, it's got a crew size of four, and then its size is S4. Cargo is two units, so you're not going to be running cargo in this. As you can see, we've got the uh, ballistic cannon that I mentioned before, and these uh, these remote turrets were actually slaved because I was able to actually fire these laser cannons solo. So I'm assuming if you actually have somebody in those remote turret seats they would just take that over from you these are going to be uh <clears throat> ballistic gatlin guns which is a lot of firepower um if you can crew the whole thing but i think also solo it would probably work out pretty well as well the missile payload is okay um you know it's s2s and then the quantum drive is a little higher than what i anticipated before it's uh, 235,000 which is pretty quick for being stock. So I'm not sure you'd have to change a whole lot with this. Uh, this would be able to do claim sites. You could do um, all the way up. You could do quite a bit of the dip more difficult uh, bounty missions. I would probably do claim sites with this. The shields could be a little bit better, I think, but having two S3s would be fine, I think. That's gonna be it for this kind of basic overview of the Redeemer. It's, in my opinion, probably a fun ship to take out now and again a daily driver probably not it's probably better if you can fully crew it and you do a lot more uh, pvp or higher end pve stuff getting in and out of it as a solo player kind of annoying because you have to go down a ladder and then out the ramp the doors are not very uh intuitive <laughs> just you have to go through a lot of things just to get out of it um but yeah i mean for a uh, a free ship to fly for the month you know it's pretty decent. I'm not sure if it's uh, if it's pledge worthy, really. But anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll try to do these every month that there's a uh, a new interesting ship that comes out for uh, subscribers. But uh, yeah, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I will uh, see you guys next time. Peace out.